Oh, yeah. Sebastian, let's get an update on who the douchebag of the show is. Well, we just saw a little microcosm of that. Larry, I will give you this, Steve. I'm going to preface my comments by saying this. <laughs> Larry has been a complete and total dick to you today. I know. However... <laughs> Your behavior is completely so off the charts that he doesn't make up for it. Hey, folks, heard yeah. Steve's newest jewelry commercial? Now, we've seen white pearls. We've seen Tahitian pearls. Oh! How about a cranberry That's what I say. pearl? <laughs> we've seen Tahitian pearls. Did you it's see white girls or pearls? Boys. Let me ask you this. Pearls. Can I ask you a question? In the land of Tahitia. Yeah. After years of being ridiculed for saying Tahitian mm -hmm. on 96 Rock. I thought it was funny, and I laughed when I did it. Uh, you did it on purpose. Don't care. All That's right. not true, because I actually went to the session that our commercial producer opens, and I went into that and looked at the dry read of Steve just saying it with all the music behind him. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is what he said. We've seen Tahitian pearls. I went in. There was no laughter. There was no chuckle. He was, well, it's <laughs> been edited out. No, I went it's to the Valentine's, party. boys. So did you do it on purpose or not? Be honest. It's the way I say it. <laughs> okay. So it was on purpose so, in a way. It was not on purpose. There you go. Tahitian. Plus, uh... It's what is it? Do you know what it really is? Tahitian. Tahitian. I don't. Well, what about the drink? Did what? you ever have um, Tahitian treat when you were a kid? No. How about... Okay, what is the country? Where do Tahitian pearls come from? What country? Tahitia. Haiti. <laughs> We've seen Tahitian pearls. What country? Tahitian. Tahitian pearls, I know, but what country yeah. are they from? I don't know, dude. Well, take a guess. If they're Tahitian. <laughs> I don't know. Excuse it, me. It makes sense. Just guess. Just think about it for a second and guess. If they were uh, if they were American pearls, uh -huh. where would you say they came from? Tunisia. Oh. Why would you say Tunisia? They're from America. That's in Africa. I know, but it's all I could think of. Tun Tahitian pearls are from Tunisia. I don't claim to know everything, dude. You could tell me and end the suspense. I don't know. We told I know they're you. green. We I know they look good on women. I know I've bought a ton of them. And I know they mix Didn't with your natural you? oils because it's an open poured pearl, er which Eric. all pearls are. And it looks great as it gets older. Okay. Eric, did you. Uh, Excuse me? Yes. Did, did, do you recall us yeah. telling him this, like. Six years ago. We had this conversation. Yeah. About six, about six years ago. We ridiculed ago. you about the same exact thing. I it's remember. Like, it was like deja vu. And I put it behind me. <laughs> Apparently not, because you're still calling <laughs> Tahitian, boys. Tahitian pearls. Seriously, well, you, you know what country. Come on, you know it. I'll give you a hint. It begins with T. It begins with T. Tunisia. Tahitian pearls do not come from Tunisia. Tunisia. That's, in only, Africa. that's the only T thing I got going right now. Toledo. I know that one, too. No, Steve. It's Topeka. Not, not Topeka. <laughs> I said I don't Trinidad know. Trinidad and Tobago. What did it say on the copy? Tahiti. Hey! hey! Good for you. Finally. Y'all just nice. know how to go with something fun. No, you knew the whole time, didn't you? Tahiti. I just said it. Nobody, believe me, nobody in this room helped me. You knew it the whole time. I tried. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Toledo. Let's see. I'm quit kissing up. All right, so who is the douchebag of the show so far? I don't know. I feel so bad for Steve. I can't get it. You know what? I don't see Bass. I don't feel bad for me. So I'm having I'm fine. empathy. No, I don't need Well, God bless somebody in this room having empathy. That's a, that's a first. Cause I, I also feel bad for him. Cause your dad doesn't. Oh. Wait, what? Larry. Oh, okay. Larry's got no empathy. Zero. For folks who are listening around 6 o'clock or so, Le, Steve was on the attack. Mm. Larry made an offhand comment, and Steve tried to Aunt Louise Larry. Right. But it didn't work. <laughs> it just... Can we problem, hear it? Yeah, well, yeah. we don't know. It's not, not worth playing. But mm. the problem with Steve, when he makes his comments... I was, just, I was talking yeah. about something different. I was just listing what's on the show, and then Steve told me that a joke I had said, like, uh, two minutes earlier was not funny. It's like, this is kind of jarring. The, mm. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. The difference is, is how you... Aunt Louise, when Steve tries to make his joke and they fall flat, he's doing it. He's I'm not you used to going after people, see, Bass, so I'm new at it. So I apologize <laughs> if I didn't do it right. I'm not a piece of crap or an insecure, goofy-ass misfit toy that Where's feels like he's got to flex on everybody else. So I'm dude? sorry. It's a brand new thing for me. I haven't quite figured it out. Although you have mastered it, and so has your dad over here <laughs> with no empathy. And uh, occasionally really Tim, sorry. that's okay. So God bless you. You know, I guess you grew up so hated... And so alone, all by yourself, <laughs> that, that you just looked at everybody in the lunchroom and hated. No, never mind. Wait, your mom was at your house. That's right. You were homeschooled, so you don't know how to relate to anybody. There's not a normal bone in your damn body.
body. You're a complete freak. But Larry's into you like a freight train, so God bless you. You kind of, sort of got a job, but not really because there's no benefits, so God bless you not get sick. But no, your parents douche. don't even know you don't have a home because it's so contrived and weird. And you love to bang fat chicks. So more power to you. More power to you. Our worlds don't collide at all. And when you make fun of me and you attack me, guess what? I dig it because I'm like, you're a freak and I'm not. I'm mainstream. I love Access Hollywood. I love reading People magazine. I like poppy songs. I like girls that are attractive. I like making money. I like having a future. I like all that crap. And I love my hair straightener. Yes, I do. And all my products. My shampoo costs more than everything you're wearing on your body. And guess what? I dig it. I'm guilty of being normal, and I love it. So sitting here in the land of misfit toys, I'm okay with you criticizing me and awarding me this bottle of lovely champagne, wine, whatever it is, every single day. And the fact that I didn't know Tahiti and I had to think about it is fine, because I'm not in college anymore. Thank you. No, mm. douche. That moved me more than Eric's. Wow. Uh, Bravo. The Golden Globes right there. Bravo. Ugh. So there, it's settled. We don't need any more updates. No. Steve is the douchebag. I'll take it. Matter of fact, I'll take it for the year. That was his ex acceptance speech. Nicely done. Ooh, Nicely I had to drink done, water. Sir. about got dry there. Nicely done. That was right, a good anyway. speech, Steve. Oof, that was you. the best speech of the year. Something happened? Oh, no. I'm glad you're going hey, over Eric, your you mess, though, Eric. You, stay, you just stay out of it. Steve, uh, Steve has been elected senator of Massachusetts. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. All right. Thank you, Seabass, for that update. We'll take a pause here. I told you that might take some time. Yeah. You were, you were right.